Hey everybody and welcome to this new Python tutorial. My name is George and what we're going to do today is that we're going to learn how to use the subprocess module so we can call in uh, system commands. Uh, so before we start I strongly recommend that you use um, any Linux distribution you like. I'm using Ubuntu over here. Uh, so you can access uh, all the Linux based or Unix based uh, system commands. So that's uh, pretty much it. So let's go ahead and start. Um, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to import a module and that module is called subprocess. And basically what this module uh, allows you to do is that uh, it has uh, functions that can call in the system the operative system and you can uh, use uh, all its commands uh, for example let's say uh, we wanna use a, a command over here on the shell and you wanna use the ls or list command so you type that in and you will see uh, the list of uh, uh, archives or files that we got in this directory so you can use that by using python and uh, anything uh, uh, you wanna do, uh, you can do it on Python. Oh, well, that's uh, pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to type in subprocess and then type in uh, call. And call is a function that basically calls uh, any command you like. And you can type in, for example, the ls command. So go ahead and save this program and now uh, execute it. So this program is called commands dot Python. So type Python commands dot uh, py, and you can see that the ls uh, command is being executed over here. So that is a pretty much uh, really really basic uh, implementation of the call uh, method. However, if you wanna do um, the, if you wanted to use the commands uh, using arguments, for example, let's say the L uh, argument, so that would be you will need to see this over here. You can just use it like that. If you say this program, we will see an error in the program because it isn't correctly typed in. Um, in order to use uh, commands and arguments uh, with the call function, you need to create a list, and inside the list, the first element will be the command itself. So it will be ls. Uh, and then after that, you can type in all the elements you want as long as they are arguments of the first element, which is the command itself. So go ahead and type in a comma and then type in the L option over here. Save this program and go ahead and execute it in the uh, terminal. So you will see uh, the result that we are um, successfully executing the ls command with an argument so that's pretty much it you can uh, use any command you like now another thing that you need to know is that the call function only executes uh, the program uh, it doesn't capture any data well you can capture for example number inside a variable you can capture this and if you print that variable sorry for that I wrote you wrong so okay let's save the program execute it you will see a zero which is uh, basically nothing uh, so it just um, executes uh, the commands but it doesn't uh, bring out any output for that there is another method um, however uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys before uh, I end this video is that um, the call function have uh, several um, arguments over here. However, the only arguments that would seem really important uh, to explain it's an argument called shell. And basically, this argument uh, is uh, you can pass it a true value or a false value. And what it does is that you specify to Python that hey Python when you execute the call function and you execute these commands I'm going to give you you can execute them um, directly on the Linux uh, shell so if you want to do that you can type in true over here however it really isn't recommended because uh, if you type 
if you type in for example shut down now or something like that well uh, we don't want that to happen so that's why by default uh, the shell is always uh, false and Python um, the the Python interpreter basically uh, serves as a filter for those uh, dangerous commands that you could use in um, in a call function. So guys, that's that's pretty much it. I hope you like this tutorial, and we'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye bye.